ready to head into the Washita National Forest and I'm putting some extra charge that's powering the battery that the refrigerator is plugged into and it's 100% and then this cord here I actually have my freezer plugged in to the house it's to temperature and I've got it full of our food and ice and everything we need for the trip I'm pretty much loaded with everything that we're taking I also have a power cord running to the front of the truck topping off my battery in the truck it wasn't too low at all but I've had my doors and radio going so I figured I'd just top it off before we left it would get charged driving up there but this way I know it's gonna be a hundred percent that bag over there is some kitchen supplies I've got my seat covered for Remington to lay there if he wants up front or he can get in the center back there and lay of course I've got my pillow I've got my clothes this is a camping type blanket and uh, some water toys the annex room extra hat uh, camera gears in this bag and then the floorboard I've got my Stanley Fat Max I've got some extra water of course you know my CB flashlights binoculars are all in the center dash there but everything's ready to row I double check my winch up here made sure everything was okay with it and it's 100 percent ready to go checked all my fluids this is going to be a few day trip and i'm not sure how much driving i'm going to get in or if i'm just going to find a good spot and hang out it's supposed to be a little bit cooler tomorrow than it is today so it should be decent weather for this And we'll be headed out in the morning. Well, folks, we're getting ready to hit the road. All I have to do is put my solar panels in the back of the truck. And as you can see, Remington there, he is ready for that door on that truck to open. He's ready to go for a ride. You ready to go for a ride, aren't you, boy? You ready to go, aren't you? <laughs> Headed toward the spot I had pinned on my map, and we was crossing uh, this place right here. So I thought I'd stop and check it out because I may just want to camp here. I can get the truck down in here. It's kind of flat. We got a creek right here. The road does run right there, but being Monday, I don't think it'll be too busy. Someone rocked up a little area here to make the water a little deeper but there's a place for fire and he's cleaned up a little bit i 
Okay, we're gonna go across the road because I saw some pretty nice stuff over on this other side and I might be able to pull down in there. The area is a lot bigger over here. Pretty shady, I don't know how much sun I'm gonna get. And you got a bridge right there for explore a little more after right outside if I'm gonna set up. You know, we just pulled up and I'm kind of checking things out to see where I want to set up. But there's a pull down right here. Yeah, excuse my shaking. I got the dog with me. So, so you can pull down here. Look at the big rock. And I think I could get the truck pretty level. Backing up in here, or even pulling up in here. There's that has a fire right there. Some really big rocks. Really pretty right here. Come here, Remy. He's wanting to investigate, but he don't want to investigate the same stuff I want to investigate. Come on. It's like a trail that goes that away. Really nice swim hole right here. It's got to be pretty deep. Which I can walk over from the other area if I wanted to. But let me think about this and then I'll figure out where I'm going to camp. I'm thinking I might move over here. All right guys, we are set up somewhat. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna put my annex room up yet or not. Uh, if the bugs don't get bad till around dark, I can just climb up in the tent. Uh, but if they start getting bad before then, I'm gonna wish I set it up and I, I might later. But uh, let me turn this camera around so I'll show you what I've done. As you can see right there, we are way up in the air. I've even had to put the ladder up on some stones. The ground here is crooked. And you can see how high I've got the truck up. That rock is already there, that big one. And of course that great big one over there. And there, there was almost the right length in between them to get the truck on. Let me back up some. If my truck wheelbase would have been a little shorter they would have fit perfect up on those two rocks but I've just built up in front and uh, that's gonna work just fine I did bang I came down through right here and I did bang the front skid plate just a little bit nothing major a little scraping noise had to avoid that rock right there but you can see it's really sloped here Let's walk up to the road. Had two vehicles pass so far. There's a, that real nice campsite over there. Plenty of room and flatness. The road goes up through there. All this kind of gives you privacy from the road. And as you can see back there, nothing but rock cliff and forest. The truck sitting down there behind this bush. Now, if you didn't want to come in this way, you could have came in down this way here. Backed in or whatever you wanted to done. But I just went ahead and I came out from over there because I thought I was going to set up over there. And I just came straight across. I wanted my annex side and ladder, uh, the tent on that side. So I just worked my way till I got the truck positioned like I liked it. It's pretty level. It's not, you know, 100% level. But I've actually slept in that tent worse than that. I've got plenty of sun for my solar panels. The tent will be in the sun in the morning some. Probably in the noon some. There's also a little area over here that could have been used as a campsite. And if you got a couple people with you, 
you know you could set up a couple of vehicles here but the whole reason I wanted over here is because of this swim hole that's over here on this side and these rocks now, I could just sit here and listen to this water run and look at these rocks and this stream for days and be perfectly content Look at this big old slab of rock. Man, really nice swim hole right here. Pretty deep. I haven't been in it yet. There's a fish. I've been looking for snakes. So far I haven't run across any. There's some fish in there. They get shallower over there. Beautiful, beautiful area. I just wanted to make a, a quick little video right now. I'll go ahead and kind of show you how I've set up and why I set up over here. This falls coming down over there. Sounds beautiful. Way down there, that's a big drop. And a little more of the campsite you know if I had to set that annex up I will but I'm hoping I don't have to you see Remy's underneath the truck he don't like bugs and there's a few bugs flying around I did treat them before we left the house so nothing's going to actually get on them but they're going to buzz them and he, he hates being buzzed but I do have the shower change room up and I've already changed into my shorts. Sun's over the water, getting pretty warm, and we're fixing to find out how cold it is. So, let me put his little life jacket on. No, he don't need it, but I always like putting it on him anyway. I am gonna take some time this evening to clean some junk up that some people left here. If you leave it down on the ground, you need to be sure to pick it back up. Don't be nasty, people. Well, you got plenty of room to get up underneath there, don't you, boy? We're going to go swim in a minute. But this is it, folks. I think I'm just going to hang out here for a few days. The drive was beautiful coming in. I got a little bit of back road driving. And I'll probably do a little back road driving before I go to the house. But until I get ready to leave, we're just going to enjoy this area right here and have some fun. So we'll be back with y'all in a little bit.
Okay guys, I'll try to add y'all position where you can see how deep that was on that end over there behind this big rock. I can stand up with it up to my chin. So it's pretty deep over there. It's shallow over here and it's real shallow over there. And I think I'm gonna take Remington down there where you see the ripples because it's hard for him to play with his toy in deep water. And the rocks in the bottom of this are, are very slippery. Okay, Remy. Had a lady just stop. Wanted to know, Remy, come, if I had another dog, or if I was missing a dog. Said, no. I'm checking for snakes, dude. This way. Stop. We ain't been out for a while. He forgot his leash rules. Someone left a tennis shoe and some clothes over here. Really pretty up in here. That's the deep hole right there. Here's a little shallower end. It'd be good for him. So I'm going to have to... Uh, Put my phone down so I can play with him. If I can get back over here without falling in the water, boy. You really gotta watch the rocks again, they slick. I'm coming, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get your toy. I'm gonna get your toy. Found me a little seat over here. As long as he has someplace shallow to bring me the toy back, he don't have a problem with going out into the deep water. Out there in the middle, it's at least up to my chin. Maybe up to, it might be up top of my head in the middle. He's doing his thing, this is his element. Water's pretty cold. It feels good today. It was a really comfortable drive. Coming up here too. Uh, I didn't even run the air conditioner. I had the windows down and enjoyed the fresh air coming in. And as I was setting up, it started to get hot, but the sun started getting right on top of us. But as you can see now, it's in the shade and it probably will be until the sun gets Oh, I'm going to say 3 or 4 o'clock. And we'll probably be in the water then. And then when the evening time gets here, it should be getting in the shade again. And it's supposed to get down in about 68, 70. It might be cooler than that down here by this water. We'll just have to see. But I think we're going to be pretty comfortable. I did bring my ice chest cooler homemade fan. And I really don't think I'm going to end up needing it. Because uh, if you get hot, as long as you have access to this cold water, you just dip in at one time and you're good for quite a while. It's deep out there, ain't it, boy? He ready to go again. Don't you need to rest? Don't you think you should rest? All right, he's ready to go. I scanned the area real good for snakes. Of course, you know, there's a possibility you won't see them. I especially looked up in here real good where I'm sitting. I'll get the camera out later and try to get some better shots of all this. I'm just using my phone right now. My little slice of heaven for a few days. I actually couldn't come today. She had to report to work. So, it's just me and Remington. I'll be able to get a few days in anyway. She would have loved being here with this big swim hole, though. The last place we was at, you really... You could sit in it, you know? It is like not even... Maybe knee-deep in some areas. And that was just... That spot, you would just kept on going past this one... And it's probably about the second or third one on the left 
from here. It's not that far from here. And then if you keep on going, there's a few more spots down the same road. Uh, and Crooked Creek Falls is off to the right at the, around the bend of ways. So this, whew, he just sprinkled me. It's lovely here. Star of the show right there. I'm really surprised that it is it is busier than I thought it would be being a Monday. I've seen four or five cars go down this road so far. A little bit we're gonna go up there and fix us something neat. I did pack uh, our ice cold freezer full of goodies that'll last us quite a while and uh, my battery I topped it off before we left the house and since I've been here as you can see the solar panels up there getting good sun batteries 100% plus so actually the solar panels are running the refrigerator right now they're not even taking anything off the battery and uh, I think I can kind of chase the sun with them panels for quite a while today but I'm going to hack it off here. He's getting antsy.